Well, I got killed by Georgine, if that's how you say that, by a rock, but I logged out in front of my neighbor Austin's base, so... I don't really feel like I got raided. My home bag is still here, so... Yes, we get to live on. Cool. I'm actually gonna go and see if Austin's on right now. Austin? Oh, shit, dude! Someone trying to raid Austin right now? Because I was logged out right here, right? You guys never saw me, like, log out yesterday. But I just logged out right in, like, just, like, right in front of his door to see if I log in today dead to him. And then I was dead to Georgine right there by a rock. Someone's booming into this shit. I mean, unless it's decaying. Is the metal just decaying? No, metal's not decaying. Dude, there might be people coming back here soon to raid him, man. And we gotta save him. I mean, I guess me and my neighbor Austin are cool now. I don't know why, but I tried raiding this guy at one point. I successfully got his TC and stuff. He even got some sulfur, but I know that he moved the rest of the sulfur out of his loot room before I raided him. But if there is an issue that has now fallen on us, then it is the charcoal issue. I think that we're about there, and it's sad to say, guys, but I don't know if we're going to have much charcoal to do anything. Let's see. Let's see. What, let's see what all we have upstairs. Cause this is all that I have downstairs, which is, uh, yeah, not much. I'm up here. No charcoal. Here. No charcoal. No charcoal. Oh my god, dude, we are fucked. Wait, no. I'm hearing a fucking raid right now. Yeah, we need to go now. We need to get over there now. These guys are throwing grenades. They're using satchels. I can't tell if it's over this mountain or if it's like through these trees here, but I would love to counter raid these guys. Oh shit, I'm hearing a pump right now. Now an AK. Oh shit, dude, they're raiding this. Oh. oh. What the hell? Are these guys online as they're getting raided? Wait, what? Why do I feel like these guys logged in, raided, and partially griefed with sheet doors, and they've just been the ones that are, like, booming through doors and, and whatnot? I mean, if that's the case, and they still haven't even got TC, then they haven't sealed where the raiders came in through. I just don't know where they would have came in through. Yeah, I don't know. I am, like, I am beyond confused. Damn, man. I was act I was so excited to do a counter raid to start out the day, too. The Rust God said no, though. I gotta go check up on the uh, Russian kids that were talking to me yesterday. They ended up killing me for a full camo AK set with C4 and 100 and or two, two C4 and 100 X blow on me. So I lost a little bit of boom yesterday to them. And I want to go to their base because I was assuming that they're going to be online today, this next morning, around the same time. And if they're online... I literally might just sit at their base messing with them until I get off. <laughs> oh no, dude, their base is looking big. <laughs> and I was saying that like I might get on here and like start aiming toward raiding them, but I mean maybe it could happen. But uh oh yeah, so that's right. I actually ended up griefing them with an external TC here. I'm going to show you guys. What the hell is going on? Yeah, th that external right there is mine. So, I mean, listen, we got a front row seat right here if we ever need it. I don't know, man. To tell you guys the truth, I feel stuck because I know that I can't raid without charcoal. So, like, I don't really I don't really know what to do. If I could, I would just counter raid and counter raid and counter raid. That sounds like fun. Just having, like, a full-blown counter raiding day. I'd love that, but I don't know if, uh... I don't know if we're going to get those opportunities. I thought that instantly to start out the day we were going to be able to get one. <gasps> they're at Austin's base shooting right now. Alright, they're a quarter of the way in through the door. And now they're halfway through the door. And he is now in. Now the question is, did he bring more boom to go through more doors? I don't even know who this guy is. I'm excited to see his name if I either die to him or kill him. I swear, dude, is it the fucking, like, half stone wall that he got to? It is. It's the fucking half stone wall. <laughs> dude, I wonder if he's gonna come over here, like, pickaxing into that shit. 
I want to say that it's just the solo player that's raiding. I don't know where he lives. He's already gone. But I feel like I should be able to f figure out where he lives. I feel like he lives up here this way somewhere. This base is new. This Adobe base. And who's logged out inside of here? Georgine. Oh, you yeah, know, this is the guy who killed me. I wonder if it's someone that lives inside this compound of bases right there, or if it's maybe this guy, and he's playing in the morning now. I don't know. Or maybe it's this guy over here. Oh my god. We need to go now. We need to go now. Who the hell is that guy? And yes, guys, I left the backpack on the ground. Dylan, you left the backpack. Fuck a backpack. I'm getting out of here with rockets. I didn't even hear that guy respawn in there, so I'm confused if he even lives in there. I don't know what the fuck that guy's doing. I don't even know if that's the guy that was raiding over here. Like, you would think so. Like, yeah, saw Expo ammo, rockets. Of course that's him. What do you mean, Dylan? But it's like, why would... I don't know. It just seems weird. Maybe it's him, though. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. Uh, what I could tell you, though, is that my second number two of the morning is here, and I need to go take care of that, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't think that guy's gonna figure out that I live here. At least I hope not. Uh, I am gonna try going back to pick up his backpack now, though, I guess. But there's our boom for the day. We will take that. Six rockets and 100 expos is what we have to work with. And yeah, if we end up getting some charcoal, then... We can make a little bit more boom, of course, but yeah, let me get out of here. I don't know if this dude followed me home or what's really going on here. But if he finds out where I live, trust me, he'll grind up everything to raid me. I don't like, I'm just, I'm confused about this whole situation, though, because it's like, he was next to this base, and I was like, oh, dude, the guy could live here, and then boom, he pops out. But I never heard him respawn in the base after I killed him. That's what's really strange about this. He came out and picked up his backpack, though. Okay. I think that I'm about to go over there and pick through that fucking stone half wall. That's what I think I'm about to go do. Unless maybe it is someone that lives over there inside that base, and he just, like, was walking past this base. That's possible. Okay, I know. This guy right here, he has to be trolling. Rana? Who the hell is this? Why would you have a paddle over here in the middle of nowhere, you know? I wonder if this guy that's raiding this base even knows what that half wall is inside of here. He probably doesn't. Because who the fuck uses a stone half wall to, like, get in and out of their shit? But, yeah, let's go. We're gonna get all this loot inside of here for free, guys. And there's not gonna be charcoal, unfortunately, because this guy uses electric furnaces just like us. Oh my god, we're, uh, we're pretty much in. Oh no, this is just- what the fuck is this? What the hell? Dude, he moved everything somewhere else, like, his fucking- Because this right here is the loot room, I think, right? <laughs> Dylan, just run and get out of here now. I don't know. Just let me get in here. Let me let me secure these jackhammers. Okay, and I'm going to instantly leave one more time. And we're going to go and see if we can find this dude's base with, like, a lantern or campfire on inside. Okay, guys? As it's nighttime, I'm just going to chill inside this tower right here. It's right next to the base where I killed him. But then it's also, like, next to this big compound, kind of. So maybe he'll come back out. Dude, that shit over there, though, man. That guy moved his TC and shit out of that spot, I think. I want to say that that is the spot where uh, his TC used to be, though, for sure. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm seeing this dude. You guys can barely see him because it's dark. But, yeah, yeah, we're going to be able to see him right here. Yeah. There he is. So, yeah, he does live there, for sure. That has to be him. What was he just out doing in the dark? He's just getting back home. Looks like he's going into that base over there, so that pretty much tells us, okay, that's main base, at least we would have to assume. Huh, fuck, dude, what was he out doing? I mean, he came back home through that gate, and my base is over there, so it's almost like he could have came back, like, from my base and went in. I don't know. That's a little bit shady, though. 
Yeah, it's these guys that are trying to raid Austin. They're going to be trying to raid us soon, too, guys. Okay? And I don't know what we do about it. We can't fucking raid them or anything. That's going to cost a shitload, and we don't even have charcoal. I don't know why. It sounds... <laughs> One minute. I want to place down some landmines in front of his gate just to see if he hits them. I'm going to have to go home and craft up some GP and whatnot. We can make a thousand GP right now with the charcoal that we have, but past that, we can't really do much. Dylan, it's the fact that you're still on this server right now. <laughs> oh. What the hell's going on right now? Okay, connecting. Okay, we're back in. Okay, I'm just getting kicked off the server for no reason. That's great. And it's just one to ask me, Dylan, have you ever smoked a cigar? No, I have not. I think the guy in the nearby base just kicked me off the game. Yeah, it makes sense. But it's okay. I'm gonna go over there and uh, plop down some landmines outside his shit. He can have fun with this. Oh no, you can place down these things like right on the fucking gate, dude. I just now heard that motherfucker. I'm not joking. I'm running away. I feel like he's coming out of the other gate or something. I don't really want him to see my name as I'm placing down these things. I want it to be a mystery on who did it. Yeah, there's an external right here at this gate. I'm not even going to try with this one. Fuck, dude, over here in this part of their compound, they have these externals, like, in front of the gates and shit. It kind of sucks. And now I'm back over here by the gate where he originally, like, I'm pretty sure that he heard me. I need to get out of here right now. <laughs> There's nothing better than, like, placing landmines at your neighbor's base that, that, that like, you just want to fuck with, and they have no idea where you live, so they don't even know how to get you back. It's just such a good feeling. I'm going to go back over to the Russians' base and see if they're online. We already went over there once, and they weren't there, but there's a chance that they were just out mining or something. I remember yesterday, even toward the end, like, after I stopped recording, I went over here and put down that external TC, and I saw him leaving instantly, like, going out to farm, I think. They are online. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, so I'm going to go back home and I'm going to get, like, five ladders. I'm happy that I came back and double-checked. They were just gone the first time that we came over. Or maybe they just weren't online yet. I don't know. Oh, yeah, so yesterday I mentioned that I was playing Snowball Fetch with some dogs in the yard next to me. Just two pit bulls that are just full of energy. I mentioned that I may have pulled something, like, by underthrowing the snowballs. And I just want to let this be known. I was underthrowing the snowballs because I had to get, like, a like a super high snowball throw. Because I had to throw over a tree that's, like, in between our yards. Otherwise, it just hits the branches in the tree and, you know, the snowball doesn't make it. And I couldn't just throw it like a quarterback throws a football. So I had to underthrow that shit up and, like, charge it up and really fucking like throw that shit high right so just after doing that for like i would say like i probably threw like i don't know like 25 snowballs that's when it started to kick in it's not like i just threw like one snowball and and my arm was fucked but yeah i forgot to include that context okay we're back i'm back and i don't hear a damn thing right now Ooh. I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna try, I guess. I don't really know. Actually, before I do that, I almost just wanna, like, use up these ladders on their base. Hopefully they just don't notice them. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of a stretch to just think that they're not gonna notice these, but... I don't think that they're home, though. I almost think that could be them that's raiding. Why can't they just place this shit down, game? Yeah, okay. Yeah, hopefully they just don't notice that shit. They're not going to see it, guys, okay? They're going to come back, and they're not going to see a thing. <laughs> I just wanted to use those up just in case if I go over here and just die with the ladders. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's something that's up here. It's getting raided. Did I just not hear someone? I thought I just not heard someone, like, jump in the distance, maybe. electric furnaces inside of this base. Um, 
you guys raid this thing? Have you just heard like electric furnaces inside of it, or would it just be like, eh, no, nah, fuck that? You know, seeing two guys logged out right there. I think these are all half walls above here, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Is that all might just be vertical honey come up there for all that I know? Dude, where is this raid that's going down? I am so lost. <gasps> down there. What the fuck? I just now saw someone inside that empty doorway. Son of a bitch. If the timing really is like this and they get a door down now. TC's right there. That's all that I know. Only a solo player as well. <laughs> Two yet? Wait, dude! This is fucking Austin! Who yet is Austin, the dude that was getting raided earlier through his doors? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second here. I am, I am so confused. If I go back to his base and his doors are not, like, uh, placed back down, then he moved or something. But yeah, man, Who yet is Austin's uh, in-game name. And I didn't even pick up his door that fell on the ground because I'm a silly-ass goose. That means that he lives somewhere else. I don't know where the fuck he lives. But for some reason, why do I get the vibe that he lives inside that base that has the electric furnaces on the side of the mountain over there? That shit just makes sense. Even though he should live here, he's been upkeeping this base for the past few days. The doors are still off. He does not live here anymore, dude. He fucking moved out. Straight up. He moved the fuck out. Okay, 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 Austin. You want to move You want to move away and not be neighbors? You don't want to be best pals? I'm just happy that I found him again, dude. Feels good. Yeah, I think that I might try going back over there with 64 Expo and try getting inside of the ship. Yeah, Don, you better get back there quick if you actually want to do this, by the way. And maybe make a Molotov for TC2 just in case. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm actually gonna make it back to this. I probably won't, honestly. So honestly, I'm gonna honestly just go back and honestly give my honest effort. You ever just notice yourself saying the same word in like back-to-back -back sentences, and then you just think about going overboard with it for no reason? Austin, stop it! Let's just leave with the basic bullshit loot that's in here. And let's move on with our lives, okay? Dude, I swear if he fucking spawns outside and clears it, guys, I fucking... That'll actually upset me. It's honestly making me not even want to sit here in front of the base. I'll just listen for if he F1 kills. Fuck. 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 Okay, he didn't open up this door. Oh. I, that's a door that's to the right in there. What the fuck, dude? I mean, I can splash both doors with my x blow. Yeah, he he has a door in the very very back. I mean this. I mean he's gonna play it as safe as he possibly can. I'll fucking camp out here for an hour till he leaves with all the shit. You guys think I care? I won't door camp. He can come out here. He can clear it. He can feel safe and all that. That's fan. That's fantastic. I want him to do that. I will find a hiding spot where I will catch this guy leaving with the best shit. I feel like he's not even gonna leave with the best stuff instantly either. So if he comes out geared like any second. I probably won't kill him unless it's obvious that he has a bunch of shit on him. Oh yeah, listen man, if this guy wants me to go try hard mode on getting this raid loot, I will, okay? No matter how safe he wants to play this shit, oh, we can do this. I just gotta keep my eyes on the door and on the base the whole time. He's probably gonna come back naked and clear it. And if he does, and then he goes inside, comes out geared, I'm gonna have to kill him. Even though that might be him just baiting people to s see if there's people around to kill him. Fuck, dude, then you have the whole Russian situation that I want to attend to at their base with the ladders. I don't know what I should do. Will it take this guy an hour to transfer loot on a, like, I'm not even going to say the pop of the server, but just know that it's low, low. Like, it's low, low. Like, I'm talking, like, low enough to make you disrespect me, okay? But it's like, I have these few neighbors around my base that keep, like, my area active enough to keep me interested in playing on here. <laughs> That's just the truth, okay, guys? And listen, you may not like that truth, but it is the truth. I'm just going to get higher up on the mountain at this point with how long this shit's taken. This is insane. I despise Austin with a passion. I'm so happy that I raided him and took a good bit of his sulfur. Because <laughs> this is a man where it's like he has three pairs of glasses on at the same time, and he's just he's making sure that he will not die by all means. 
This is a solo player? It is, man. Like, I'm telling you, dude. That motherfucker lives up here. I know that he does. He's raiding a base that's right down there, like, underneath his shit. He has electric furnaces, just how he did in his past base before we ended up raiding him the first time with the 4C4 through the sheet wall. He, without a doubt, lives up here. It just makes way too much sense. And he's never gonna leave this base. How much longer are you gonna sit in a fucking 2x2 two two stone? <gasps> Wait. No, there he is. Where's he going? And it's not fucking hurt him, dude. He is slithering around these parts. Oh, he's hitting wood down. Dude, I know that that's him. Look at him down there with his fucking bow. What is happening right now? Oh. Guys! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> This is fucking bullshit, man. Like, what are you doing just walking around with a bow, Austin? I know that he doesn't have loot on him. I know that he doesn't. I'm really trying to make sure that I stay hidden, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I wonder if he already knows that I'm here. Like, if he saw me up here and he's just trying to act casual like he didn't. And it's like, he has all default doors, which also makes sense for this base, because it's a default double sheet here. In his past base, we saw that he has default garage doors, and even default single sheets. I wonder if he's waiting till dark to transfer. I don't know, like, I'm gonna keep it a buck, it's really bad how much time in my session I'm just wasting here. And I get that it's like, well then just move the fuck on, you know? Because I'm tempted to, I am. I want to get back over to the Russians' base and mess with them. But at the same time, with how long it's taken him to transfer this shit, what's all in there? There's no way that it's just nothing, right? There's just no chance. There has to be something of value in there. That he's trying to be safe about, and I just not fucking heard him. Oh my god. Don't come walking around this way. He's underneath us. Oh my god. There he is down there. He's like looking around, dude! To Austin! That's a landmine at the one dude's base. <laughs> oh, he was just looking back, bro. I don't know if he actually saw me, though. Oh, my God. He didn't look fully toward me. Dude, I hear him, like, jumping up, like, okay. He's like jumping up the fucking mountain and shit, bro. Dude, what are you doing, Austin? Are you a human being or are you AI generated to clear every fucking angle to leave from your 2x2 two two raid? Because <laughs> I, I mean, I'll fucking wait. I'll wait all day. I will wait all day for this to get two gears and human meat from you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't fall right on top of me, you son of a fucking bitch. And then the torch comes on. I think that he's going to get the stuff right now. <laughs> he's going to be transferring as it's dark. I just know it. And I know that this is his fucking base up here too. I just know. Because he just came up here and he cleared around it and shit. Oh, Austin, Austin, Austin. You just get ready, you fucking bitch. I just hope that it's the best run first. Transfer the best shit first. Get it over with as it's dark. Don't take a half ass run just in case if you're scared. Please don't, Austin. Fucking please don't. I'm on my knees begging you. I don't know if Austin knows what it takes to be a man to fucking bend the knee to a silly ass goose, but like, that's the point that I'm at, Austin. I've literally ripped away my manhood for you. Oh no, dude, the light's on down there. <laughs> you fucking scumbag. Come on, man. Come, like, do you live there? Is that your new home? Is this where you live now? What if that's just where he lives now, guys? What if he just, he log, oh wait. <gasps> light off, light off, light off, light off, light off. Back up, back up. We don't need him seeing our fucking silly goose sitting up here looking down at him. Oh my god.
Dude, I can't. Okay. Oh, oh, dude, he's going to be so upset. There's no charcoal, though. That's what sucks. That's what I'm saying, though, man. Listen, if you don't want to fucking do this shit, and if you're trying to play it safe for, like, 30 minutes, like, I don't want to have to dedicate myself, like, this amount of time to do this, but I will. I will go full ninja on your bitch ass. You got a fresh jackhammer that's not even used one bit, so I don't know. Maybe there isn't anything else in there. I need to get over to the Russians' base, though. That's where we need to go. Oh, no. Did I wonder if our ladders are still here? Uh, yes, they are. They are still here. I wonder if they're home. There ain't no way that these guys just got off now, right? After we heard them in there before. They could have. I thought that might have been them that were raiding. But it was indeed Austin in a new base location. I can't believe it, guys. That's a big, that's a big plot twist right there. We've been talking about Austin every single day that we walked past his base. And just to think that he left that bitch empty but kept up keeping it. Like... Alright, we're here on this base. Okay, guys, so if we look and see what it is... Like, don't be acting like I can just raid this right now, okay, guys? Everybody calm down. Double sheet door, ladder hatch to get in, like... Whew, this thing would be expensive. <laughs> I'm just imagining going back over there to try and kill Austin for more of this shit. I'm hearing the boys. Wait, why does this sound like the Russian kid that was asking me for my name yesterday? Wait, dude, there's ladders up this. Are the Russians camping on the top of the base? Your mom is the best. Yes, come up, come up. What is happening? What's this guy's name? Jonathan? Okay. Oh yeah, so apparently Jonathan, I ended up asking you guys what that name is, and you guys said that it was the streamer, uh, which was Iris on me and Matt's duo wipe when we were playing. Uh, there's no way this is the same guy, though. Just no chance. I don't know what's going on here exactly, but uh, this door is not even open. Coleretta? Yep, that's the Russian guy. I don't know what's going on here exactly, but the Russians are here and they're talking. It's like, is that their second base? Dude, I am so lost, because that right there is the base that I laddered up on. I feel like Jonathan's going to be on his way back with a gun from their base. And he should honestly be getting close. Like, I feel like he should be right around here somewhere. Just coming back with a DB, nothing more. Wait, oh no, no, this is fucking Claretta right here. Yeah, no, so they're both are just right here. Jonathan, what did you just now have? You had something. Okay, I had DB right here. Okay, my bad, my bad. We're uh, we're gonna go and climb on top of their base right now. I don't even know if they know that we have a. Uh... Hey, bro. Hey, the guys need to stand down, okay? Wait, wait, wait. What's up? Stay What's up? back. Why? <laughs> Do you know who is that big base is? These guys are so, uh... They raided me. I, 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 they raided me? Yeah, you. What do you mean, me? Uh, what do you mean, me, bro? <laughs> I know this is where these guys fucking live. Like, these guys literally just respawning came out with DBs over what there from this mean, direction. Sir? Yeah, he just came out of this base with double barrels. Yeah, bro. Alright. Hey, hey, oh, okay. Okay, my mom's calling me. Yep. It's like, is it still alive or did she kill it? Okay. Okay, so I just now got a call from my mom, and she recently got a new cat, and she's never had her own cat before, and her cat just caught uh, her first mouse, and it kind of like, it was freaking my mom out. If we look at this right now, there's like a new like raid base thing right here, in between me and Austin's past base. Look at this. Someone came over here, 
and built this like armored door. Is that an armored door with the hatch right there? Yeah, it has to be. Um, yeah, they put down this thing as like some sort of raid base, and then there's also chain link in here now. So I don't know. I'm like, I'm like really fucking confused on what's going on here. But did Austin come over here and place this down? Cause it's building blocked. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I might need to go visit Austin right now. That is without a doubt Austin. I'm not even hearing his electric furnaces anymore, man. He turned them off. Like, I just see him standing still looting bodies over there. Oh, oh shit. Okay, Austin, no, no, no. Austin! You're doing it again to yourself, and I cannot handle it, man. <laughs> I need to just raid this guy tomorrow, even though I'm, I mean, I don't even know if I'm even really gonna, but. He has an M9 and a road sign kilt with some pistol bullets. What if I get back over here by this raid base and the dude just, like, plop down a turret on it and shit? What the fuck? He raided the rest of the base or what? Like, what happened? Okay, so that guy's in there, apparently. Just with the door open, just lurking. Dude, wait. Who the fuck is in here nice still? Hey, nice try. <laughs> Uh, talk that shit, you fucking dork. Thanks for the rockets earlier, by the way. So, wait, who's inside this base right now? There is no way that Austin's over here, right? Let me actually just see. We can actually see if Austin's in here. Go to contacts. Scene. Yep, last scene now. He's in there, dude. It's crazy to think that me killing him over there ultimately is what caused him to spawn in and seal up this thing. Which I don't, I don't even know what kind of loot he has in there. I wouldn't think much of anything unless this dude just rocks five bases on a server and is just, he, maybe he's just everywhere. Wow, what a strange day. You know, I'm just going to set up my shop right now as I'm on here still for the next few minutes. I'm, uh, I'm going to try selling stuff for charcoal. That's my new goal. If I get my hands on charcoal, we're going to be able to raid, uh, like we're going to easily be able to raid Austin tomorrow. I can tell you that. So let me just think, what should I sell for charcoal? I'm not sitting on, like, a shitload of guns. I've sold a lot of them already for sulfur. Got a SAR, got a SAR, got a SAR. I mean, yeah, you can just sell all these SARs, Dylan. What do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna go out here and try adding some stuff onto my shop right now. But old man Dave's out here. And he's gonna fucking murder me. Yeah, shop is set up for charcoal to be coming in. I don't know if it's even going to work. I don't know who's really going to be paying charcoal to buy shit unless they just have it lying around, but... Oh, looks like me and him are going to be racing to an airdrop over here. Stop. Stop following me. I'll do that. Okay, let's just get this over with before someone embarrasses themselves, okay? Okay, now they're hitting landmines. I need to actually hurry up and get over here. That dude might have had boom on him or something. Oh, please, please tell me that's what just happened. I mean, he might just be naked. He might not have anything. I don't know. But if you made it here to the end of this video, comment the word underhand. Some of you guys were make it, uh, making fun of me for kind of hurting my arm from underhanding some snowballs to the dogs next door. But you have to keep in mind, okay, I was throwing those snowballs over like a 30 foot high tree to make it into their lawn. Because if I throw it any lower, it's just going to hit the branches in the tree and then the snowball is going to break, okay? So keep in mind, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm throwing high, high balls, okay? <laughs> but yeah, you know, just keep that in mind. Now, now, is my physical health good? No, it's not, okay? I'll, I'll be the first to admit my physical health is not the best, okay? So, 
you know, I'll admit that, okay? But listen, when you're throwing these fucking snowballs, like, launching it, like, really, like, swinging your arm like that over, like, to throw over a tree, trust me, okay? I think it, it could fuck up, like, some people's arms a little bit. I mean, unless you're, like, actively always in the gym doing shit, then maybe not, but... It was after, like, 20 to 30 throws of just launching it as high as I could over a tree. So just keep that in mind before you make fun of someone else's silly goosery, okay? But, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully our shop sells for charcoal. And if it does, uh, I'm expecting to raid some bases tomorrow. Maybe Austin. I'm not too sure. We found his new base today, which is fucking crazy. Uh, I would have never expected him to have another base, but that's, yeah, kind of a shocker. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. You have a beautiful one. I'm going to go into the same, and goodbye now. Deep.